The destructive activities on the more than 100 acre of land of the Animal Research Institute at Fafaha of the Adentan Dodora Road has over the years been a daunting challenge facing the Center for Scientific and Industrial Research. Management and staff of the institution have expressed worry over stealing of the equipment meant for research, the encroachment of grazing land, factory and housing facilities meant for animals. Staff of the institute also claim they suffer daily threats from land guards. Thought our land issues have gone to sleep or be solved or be self-solved. I don't know that it was just dormant, waiting for cancer to come in place for them to resurrect. I was invited to Fafraha, the Animal Research Institute's office, main office. And what I saw there during the Easter is something that we shouldn't tolerate as a country. I asked myself, do we have laws in this country? How can you have a place like Animal Research of Afraha where they are doing serious research into animals, diseases, breeding, etc., to improve, to improve the food security in this country? And then we go to the extent of even going to where they, they work and try to uproot them. The new Director General of CSIR, Prof. Paul Bonsu, at his inaugural ceremony on Friday, called on the government to help address the situation as it poses a threat to their activities. As I speak, our lands at the Animal Research Institute site at Kantamansu, here in Accra, are under siege from land guards and miscreants. And it is a desperate situation. I would like to use this opportunity to entreat government and all stakeholders who have a say to help save and protect CSIR lands. Whether the lands are at Kantamansu, at uh, Animal Research, Pokwase, Fumesa, Kwadasu, or wherever, we need help. These are lands that have been legally acquired by government for the purposes of research and development for this country. He also called on government to implement the Research Fund Act, which will provide funding to facilitate the work of the institution. I wish to humbly appeal to government to expedite action on the implementation of the National Research Fund Act in order to make resources available for research and development of this country. However, the Minister of Environment, Science, Technology and Innovation assured that efforts are far advanced to operationalize the fund. Special Advisor of the Sector Minister Oliver Boache spoke in his stead. The Ministry of Science, Te uh, Environment, Science, Technology and Innovation and the Ministry of Education are working towards the operationalization of the National Research Fund which has already been passed by Parliament since 2020, and to provide public funding for research and development, infrastructure and innovation in this country. The newly sworn in Director General of CSIR is calling on government to earnestly take action at retrieving lands of the institution which has been encroached. According to him, these activities of the encroachers is seriously hampering activities of the institution. Reporting for City News, my name is Amshirley Zero. Up to her. Thank you so much. Good.